Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Let's Play A Plague Tale Innocence. Oh my god, no, the silence is crushing. It's destroying me from the inside out. The first rule of survival is hidden between the legs. Wouldn't the head be quicker? You're way too soft. Shh, there are the town ramparts. It never ceases to stun me how beautiful this game is, and how detailed. The crowd on the bridge. It's the townsfolk. They're being evacuated. <laughs> Let me guess. The bite's here. Exactly. And where there's the bite, you'll also find the Inquisition. Aren't you the smart one? This isn't even a particularly simple art style. No. Did you know him? A thief. I used to work with him. He was gifted. So that's the punishment for stealing. Death. I don't want to find Arthur with that kind of collar. Come on. Let's go. Over I'll open this. Then I'll go take care of Arthur. All right, so where will I find the university? It's the big building at the other end. You can't miss it. Do you think we'll see each other again? I hope so. You owe me. Shit. That means you're not allowed to die. <laughs> I'll do my best. There you go. Go on. Get going. Good luck. You too. So for the first time in a very long time, we are totally alone. Which is kind of the greatest, most stark contrast from just uh, a chapter or two ago. Chapter 7, when it was us, Meli, Lucas, and uh, Hugo all at once. All working together at that. The juxtaposition of those missions makes us feel all the more isolating. Oh, one of the reasons why I don't like the macula as a plot device or as Whoa. any kind of element within this game's story. That must be the university. Uh, all that light. I don't like this. Is because we already have this invisible threat of the plague. We don't need to introduce this supernaturally born of... illness. But you can do this. This corrupting force. It's not needed. This is your last warning before we drag you out on your ass. Bloody bourgeois. Hmm. 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 So we're gonna wait for them to pad away, and then loot whatever we can behind them in their wake. Which evidently is not all that much, unless. Unless... Nope. We still need to follow in their footsteps a little bit because they have lanterns. There's quite a bit you can get away with in this mission just by following in behind a patrolling guard with a lantern. A trick that we've had to use... That we've had to use once or twice. Careful. He may have seen me. I'm just hoping he doesn't check here. I do have a somnum. Ah. Oh, fuck. That wasn't worth it. Also, I don't know how to do this without him being conscious. Oh, that's why they give you the bundle of sticks in case you mess up. They give you a backup plan. Okay, so then we light the stick on fire and make it across that way. If I had been more patient, I guess, and waited for him uh, to start patrolling the other way before I lit that torch, it would have still gotten his attention, but he wouldn't have seen me behind the barricade and come to investigate. And I could have just followed 
behind him while he crossed over and then thrown a pot or something to get him to move so I can come through this choke point. Either way, we're still okay. It just costs us the ingredients to make uh, that potion. Altogether, not the worst trade. It's just there was a more efficient way to get through there. Well, we'll do it right the next few times because we have to do this some more. We're going to wait for the one on the left to go away. The one with the spear is a more permanent patrol. So first we have to bring him over here. He definitely isn't going to come and look behind the crate we're behind. He will just look at the crate full of helmets. And then turn around. As soon as he does, we'll be on him like a shadow. I need to calm down. Just have to get ready to move. Because we're just trying to get right about here. Then we'll do that again. We'll toss another rock. Get him to patrol away a second time. Wait a minute. And just as silently, we'll slip away. And even even gather uh, some saltpeter and alcohol. We haven't been anywhere quite this populated in a while. The last one was uh, that village early on in the game. With what's his name, Conrad. I believe I remember this super minor character's name. It's, it's only because of the health bar. That's the only reason I remember his name. Conrad Malfour. I don't know where I am. But at least I'm still alive. Yeah, we've sort of gotten ourselves lost, haven't we? Keep quiet! What's going on? No! In this maze of a city. He was your husband. It's all over for him now, so get lost! Not by myself. I can't leave without him! Shut up! You heard of Marshal Law? Oh, yeah, we have even more problems. But we have a distraction for the rats at least. Um, mm, I didn't want to risk running out and getting caught. Even though I'm like 99% sure you can make that no problem. Where's the hanged man? Oh, no. Oh, that was the noise. Those fucking rats are there already to eat him. I hope they're not finished their meal. Ooh, I really yeah. hope they reconverge on the body. Because otherwise, I don't know how I get through here once he leaves. Okay, good. And up in the attic, there's a oh. bunch. When will it stop? Including a back exit. They've all been executed. Holy shit. It's chilling. Everything's gone to shit. Locked. We're already replenishing our stock. They're really not stingy with giving you things. Uh, we're going to need some of those rocks in a moment because where they're hanging bodies and rats beneath them, you know what to do. Now there's another one somewhere. Might not be far enough down the stairs. Uh, is it you? It is. That'll give the rats a meal. Get the rocks to re-up. Then we have to crawl through here. Right. Stay calm. Think of Hugo. This is all for him. Now, when I light the brazier, that's gonna get the guard's attention. It'll be fine. We have a little hidey hole. And let's get moving. Because he can't come in here. He is uh, physically unable to 
crawl through here for some reason. You just can't crouch down. The armor doesn't articulate. That's it. There's a perfectly diegetic explanation for that. Nothing at all. <laughs> Well, it looks like it articulates fine. Hmm. And then, I think it's through here that we go. Oh, no, Raddy's... Hmm. That's why I remember going before. Oh, shit. Huh. I actually don't remember doing anything with this path up here before. There's a bunch of materials over there, but... Um, hmm. So we could cross one way. We should be able to cross back the other way without getting devoured. Oh, I think what I did the first time I came through here was use a solarium here. What's that under my... Oh, don't look. No. Don't look. Because there's still a whole bunch more further in. And... Oh, the light's giving way. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I actually... Hmm, because I did something differently before. And I don't know why. It may have been a result of a bug, so now I have to... I guess find the intended way to go through here. I may have sequence broken something by accident the first time through, but I'm pretty sure what I want to be doing is throwing that pot coming up here, and I believe I saw a bundle of twigs, so that's probably going to be my way through. Let's grab that real quick. Still nothing. Not mad. And that must be why the pot is there in the first place, just in case you didn't bring one with you. Okay, yeah, that's the right of it. And another pot. I know how we're going to make use of that. We're going to light this. Hope it doesn't catch his attention. Even if it does, he won't come behind here. Because he's not facing us. He won't have seen us pop out for a moment. He'll investigate. We'll follow him back. And then you see, just to his left, in the background... A nice shiny glowing pot. We'll use that one more time to get him to move away so we can cross the choke point he's guarding. It's really bad for peripheral vision, which works for us. Now the pot and a few rocks. Oh, we already brought a pot with us. Even better. Get that nice and far away so he First turns his back and runs a little bit. Let's go. Grab the second pot, and we are through. Just to make sure, even if we aggroed him, we could still get under. Oh, but I'll never forget this smell. That's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.